Welcome back. Last video, I announced the beginning of an Armor 3 Wasteland server. This has so far been a great success, and many people have joined in, done some missions, and committed unspeakable crimes against their fellow men. In case you didn't see last video, the server runs on the Wasteland game mode, where you murder, get murdered, collect lots of money, and perform acts of sorcery across the whole map of Altus. Today we'll be taking a deep dive directly into the server and seeing what happens after playing it for an unhealthy length of time. Our goal for this video will be getting enough money to buy the cruise missile launcher, a wonderful life removal tool that we will discuss later. So, let's say you too would like to come to join this wonderful place. What do you do? First order of business, choosing a team. Nothing is more frustrating in this game than dying to some random go-kart induced bullshit and having to start from scratch. If you have teammates, the deaths will still occur, but going back and getting your stuff will be made much, much easier. I'd also recommend joining a voice channel in the Discord. I've conveniently separated them into the two main teams and the special needs section. Even if you're socially inept like me, there are plenty of dudes there that'll help and probably not team kill you. So, today we're going to choose Op4 and get on in. You'll probably notice that there are several spawn beacons and towns to choose from. To be honest, just go where there are people and you'll have a decent time. Now that we're on the ground, the best thing to do is upgrade this shitty SMG to a decent rifle or machine gun. Lucky for us, these can be found inside vehicles which are littered around haphazardly inside these blue circles on the map. Okay, so, now we have a gun, a car, and grand Mediterranean ambitions. What next? Well now, the world is our oyster, and we have heaps of options for whatever we want to do. You can split these options into five categories. Completing missions, killing enemies and occasionally friendly players, capturing territories, standing around the general store for hours looking for the most operator looking combat vest, or yeah, chess rig, or mm, tactic vest, mm, or, and insurgent wizardry. My recommendation would be first build up some money by completing missions, and then go buy things to murder players with. These missions will have AI either standing around or cruising in vehicles, and are guarding areas with valuable equipment like weapons, vehicles, or cash. Wasteland missions form the backbone of the game mode, but are not created equal. Several of the mission types don't really give anything useful, like the supply truck or transport helicopter, while other missions give you huge bounties of cash, powerful weapons and crates, or vehicles. Harder missions tend to give more cash, which is to be expected, but some of them are harder than others. Case in point, the sunken treasure, a collection of semen, guarding a bunch of money and guns. To complete it, you'll need one wetsuit, very stylish. One pair of diving goggles, a rebreather, and a gun with underwater bullets. Now get yourself down to the beach and become the seaman. Use the underwater gun to fill the froggy lads with pea-sized holes until they have an extended subaquatic sleep. Congratulations, you can now get this cash. Wait, it won't let me get it. That's right, the mission hasn't actually finished, meaning there is at least still one froggy boy that hasn't been filled with love and affection. Alrighty, let's go find him. Unlucky for us, this guy has decided to go on a great undersea voyage and has spent the last 40 minutes spanning the great distances of the Mediterranean. So, we spend the next 15 minutes swimming back and forth looking for him, and put him to rest to collect our cash. Very good. Money. Now that we have completed the mission, we also have another problem. The other players online. Don't trust these guys. They're dangerous. Other players could literally be just about anywhere. One could be down here on the beach. One could be sneaking around in the water. Maybe there's a guy up on a hill with a big, scary gun. There could be a guy flying around in a helicopter. There could even be- Well, fuck. A drone. Lucky for us, Obama role players only care about making this little number go up and aren't gonna sacrifice their precious presidential time to get your gear. So we'll spawn back in, run over, and grab it. So what do we do with all this money? Well, that's quite simple. Nothing. We hoard as much as possible. Forever. Or until someone kills us, then in a fit of rage spend all the money on a jet and take off directly into an inconveniently placed minefield on the runway. Pretty good. This, however, is not very exciting content. So I'm gonna set a goal. $360,000 to get the cruise missile launcher. This thing is the only weapon system in the game that can reliably destroy all sea, air, and land units in one shot. It's got 18 super high explosive and 18 cluster rockets, coming to a cool $10,000 per rocket. $360,000 is definitely quite a bit of money, but when the time comes, it will all be worth it. 
Like on Wall Street, you gotta spend money to make money, so we'll buy some bigger equipment for taking on the next mission. Our next target will be any of the four different money shipments. These will have a convoy of vehicles that drop money once they're all dead. If you're lucky, the big vehicles won't be totally destroyed and can be sold for extra money. Very nice. More money. I've added a high value target system that marks the rough location of people with lots of money on them. This is a great way of simultaneously committing war crimes and raising funds to go commit more. The only problem is, you gotta kill them first. If you're lucky, they'll be on foot and can be taken out with a gentle 9.3mm sneeze to the skull. But considering they have all this money, and we're playing Wasteland, that's quite unlikely. Thus, we'll need to choose an appropriate vehicle to counter their vehicle. For bigger profits, we should use a cheaper vehicle. Cheaper vehicles are riskier, but higher risk means higher reward. Because we're playing in a team, we have some intelligence on what he's driving in. Right now, he's going towards the salt flat while inside a tank. This is likely to sell the tank and make more money. Tanks may seem pretty strong, but are vulnerable to all sorts of rockets and insurgent wizardry. The cheapest option would be a handheld rocket launcher, but that's a little too risky and he's likely to just run away after we shoot. So we'll use a light AT vehicle. This vehicle is fast, powerful, and will die very quickly when seen. Well, look at us. A bunch of big boys. We destroyed the shit out of his tank, so he can salvage it and gain an additional few thousand dollars. We'd like to avoid this guy's fate, so instead of taking all the money at once, we can take it and split it between multiple people. This way we won't show up on the map as high value targets and can run away to deliver our cash in peace. So there we go. We've reached $360,000. Time to make some purchasings. We've actually got a little bit more than $360,000, which is definitely a good thing. This means that we can get the launcher and also a vehicle to transport it in. We'll also need something with a laser designator to guide the missiles to their targets. So before we go buy our launcher, we'll buy and launch a bunch of drones. We'll put one here, 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 and we'll get a little ground base guy and stick him up in this tower. Alrighty, now we're ready to make our big purchase. We'll quickly load it into a helicopter and head over to a secluded part of the map. Psych! This music is copyrighted material. To view this part of the video, click here.